What is going on, you stallions and stallionettes? AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven. Today, I want to give you my comprehensive review of Astro's Playroom, the little cute game that comes baked in on the PS5. But it is a dirt nasty banger, as the kids say. It is hot, sticky fire. Not to suck this game off or anything, but it truly does put a check, a tick in every box. Graphics, fantastic. Gameplay, fantastic. Audio design, amazing. Soundtrack, ba dank banger. Integration of the DualSense 5, literally second to none. That's the whole point of this game is to show you the features of the DualSense 5. It's pre-installed on the PS5 for a reason. PlayStation wouldn't have some weak-ass, whack-ass, half-cocked-ass, tiny-ass, nuts-ass game on their console pre-installed, you know, to showcase their new console, and they certainly don't. Let's talk about this thing, boys. PS1. PS2, PSP, PS3, PS4, PS Vita, PSVR. Oh! After seeing that intro, I knew I was taking a trip down nostalgia lane. But it was time for me to grab a grip of the PS DualSense 5 and blow my nuts and my hair back, and that, it certainly did. If there's any doubt about what a technological marvel the DualSense 5 is, just, just do this demo. Triggers that can virtually get stiffer or lighter in your fingertips, ladies, if you know what I mean. Vibration that feels like a Turkish snow cone gently crumpling in your palms. A touchpad you can draw wieners on. I mean rocket ships. A microphone built into the controller you can blow sweet nothings into to get your character to gracefully move across the screen. By the end of this demo, I had a sore back from bending over to scoop my jaw up off the floor. I forgot I had my microphone muted, but what I didn't forget is how goddamn amazing Sony is. Once you've cleaned the load out of your pants from completing this demo, you're launched into CPU Plaza, which is the central hub for the four game worlds within Astro's Playworld. You're actually inside your PS5, so each one of these is a component. You have Memory Meadow over here, which is indeed where you store all your porn. We'll be revisiting that PlayStation 1, don't you worry about that, boys. So much like the lightning fast solid state driver SSD, there's a lot of high speed action inside of the SSD Speedway. Then you have my personal favorite GPU jungle because of its dank banger soundtrack. Then your CPU cooler springs over there. If you look around the world, there's so many PlayStation Easter eggs. Even that texturing that he's walking out right now has little cross buttons all over it. Absolutely amazing. If you are allergic to triangles, crosses, squares, and circles, you should probably just bounce up right now. Now this is one of my personal favorites. As somebody that grew up with PlayStation 1 and had all the concurrent consoles after that, including the handhelds, this is absolutely amazing. So in game you collect what's called artifacts and all these artifacts are in indeed collectible PlayStation products. So either the consoles or even accessories. I actually remember these blue discs that were super popular on PS2. Yeah, I, back then I had blue balls and I had blue discs and that was great. The detail in these 3D models of previous consoles is absolutely insane and truly tickles my nether regions because it's almost like I'm looking at my old console, which is amazing. Also, as you can see by the wall, there's a bunch of puzzle pieces, so if you're trying to 100% this game, you are going to have a fully decorated wall with classic PlayStation artwork. There's also a D-pad on the roof. Like I said, if you just look around, you're going to see so many damn Easter eggs. Your head's going to spin and your balls are going to drop. Little PlayStation 4 VR box. Don't mind if I do. Take a little Husker Do on there. The entire world of Astro's Playroom is so creative, each level is so unique in design, and just going around the central hub here when you're out of game, kind of the social lobby, has so many awesome little PlayStation Easter eggs that it made my head spin. By the end of this game, my heart was heavy, my stomach was full, and my balls were empty. Now, I think I metaphorically and also physically shed a few tears when I saw that 1994 logo there, but this game wouldn't be jack shit if the gameplay wasn't actually fun. And guess what? It is. This game will find you tilting your controller, rubbing the touchpad, blowing into the microphone and wondering how triggers and vibration like this did not exist up until now. It is truly a game changer. Stepping in the sand here, you get the gentle crunch. In the water, I had to put down my controller and wipe my hands off because it was that realistic. Getting blown over here, I mean, I haven't been blown that hard in years, boys. So this is indeed the GPU jungle, which like I said, has one of the dankest soundtracks ever. So I have three different songs from the actual Astro's Playroom playing in the background of this video so you can kind of enjoy my video being demonetized. I hope you've been working out your fingers, boys. Not for your wife, not for your girlfriend, but because these triggers are stiff. Those adaptive triggers, let me tell you, sister, you better be Barry Bond steroid in those fingers. This game is graphically beautiful. Now, of course, the screen recording is at 1080p, but when you're gaming, prepare to have your eyes ripped from the sockets by a 4K eagle called PlayStation 5. I had so much satisfaction gently sliding my fingers up the touchpad and feeling the haptic feedback that felt like a zipper in my hands. I haven't had that much fun with a zipper since I peeled your sister out of her panties on prom night. 
Feeling the drip drop or rain driplets on the top of my head, but really it's in my hands caused such a sensation I felt like I was on acid and just cracked my back reigniting the trip. It's that insane. As there wasn't a whole lot of PlayStation 5 games at launch, this game is actually included, baked in, installed on the PS5, and it's absolutely for a reason. This game absolutely showcases all the new features, both on the hardware, the software, and also the controller itself. For example, this is one of my favorite sections of the game. You tilt the controller back and forth while shifting across the triggers, and you also have to like swing this little monkey man across there. Being able to manipulate a PlayStation Primate, but just by the flick of a wrist, I mean, enough said. So if you're just trying to get through all the four game worlds, you can beat this game in about two hours, absolutely no problem. However, if you're trying to 100% this bad boy, truly unlock all those PlayStation artifacts and get all the little goodies, collect coins and all the Easter eggs, you're looking at about 10 hours. That's if you're on crystal meth and you're just grinding all night. So get ready to ignore your wife, beat your kids and hop on this game because my God, this shit is absolutely amazing. It might be for kids. I don't really give a shit. I'm almost 50 years old and I love this game. My geriatric ass had a blast. Graphics. 10 out of 10 will scorch your fucking corneas. Soundtrack, absolute bangers. Hits after platinum hits. DJ Khaled would literally crumple like foil and then quit the game if he heard all the hot sticky fire that's dripping off of the soundtrack. Core gameplay, 8 out of 10. It's an absolute banger. It fully integrates all the new features of the PS5 DualSense. However, it is a little bit short. You could counteract that by saying the game is free and that is true. And I would counteract by saying that some of the enemies are kind of repetitive and they needed a little mix up there. However, this part right here where you're using this little bouncy ball launch, launcher minigun actually judders the triggers in your hand, like bounces it back and forth. And I, I can't describe it to you. I can try and show you after I suck on your finger, but my God, it's, it's amazing. Also, side point, Astro's kind of cute. I remember seeing Astro on the PlayStation 4 with the Astro VR game, and that was super fun. I used to play that back when I had a kid before I put her up for adoption. Yeah, it ain't no toy. It's a 480p piece of shit, and I remember the PSI. So what's daddy's verdict on this game? Well, it's fucking amazing. It's gonna put a solid two inches on your peen. It's gonna increase your credit score. Your wife's gonna stop cheating on you, and it's gonna bring your dog old Rover back from the dead. If you have a PS5 and don't play this game, I instantly lose respect for you. Not that I had any to start. I hope I meet the developers for this masterful title so I can get on my knees and show my gratitude for this masterpiece. But oral pleasure aside, I gotta say the true value of this game is the fact that you don't have to be a hardcore gamer. If you have a friend or family member come over who's not big into video games, you show them this demo, they're gonna literally peel over right then and there. So if you wanna get rid of Mima to collect that insurance money, good on you. Astro's Playroom's the demo that's gonna do it for you. So it's kinda why the Wii was the most successful and best-selling console of the seventh generation over the 360 and the PlayStation. Because that had that motion sensing, there were elderly people and children that weren't even avid gamers that really enjoyed this. Now, the thing is, this game appeals to both the casuals and hardcore gamers as well. Now granted, even if you're an esports athlete, you'd probably get a tickle down there in the nether regions, especially if you're a hardcore PlayStation fan. I don't see a downside here. I really don't. It's a, it's an absolute mick banger. I'm going to have to give it a total out of 10 out of 10 bananas on the stiffy meter. It really split my Sunday. Mm.